Hey, it's Jordan with TYT, TYT Politics. I'm here with a uh, character of uh, all these Trump buttons. You've got uh, a lot of wisdom and years on you. Talk to me, what organization are you with? Um, and what, uh, what brought you to Donald Trump? Well, I'm not with any organization. What brought me with Donald Trump was his views on, on schools, charter schools, private schools, vouchers, scholarships for the kids living inside the city. Uh, Hillary got $432,000 from the teachers union. She's been improving the city's the public schools for 30 years. I think it's time we changed it and Trump will do that. Do you have the main reason for backing Trump. Do you have any uh, children, grandchildren? Children, grandchildren. Let me ask you, because uh, obviously his comments over the last few days have come out and a lot of people are offended. Uh, how do you feel you know, you're a role model to your children and grandkids that he was talking about grabbing women's private parts, all these things that kind of come off a little predatory. Well, number one, if you hang around the construction business and business in general, you make a lot of smart aleck remarks that should not be public. So if you really want to scold somebody, you could scold a person that took a private on the bus with your buddy, smart aleck remark, and made it public. That should never have happened. Uh, what he said was out of line. A lot of things I've said are out of line. I would repeat some of them, but they shouldn't be said public. What about this stuff about it seems like he was talking that he actually forces himself upon women, talking about grabbing women. Uh, but, you know, that seems a little bit more than locker room talk. No, I don't think so. I, I, I just a bunch of guys BSing on a, on a bus. Mm -hmm. I don't think that uh, Trump forced himself on women. Maybe I could be wrong, but I doubt it. If, he, if that came out that he did, would your views change? No. If he forced himself on women, that, that wouldn't change your views, whether you support him? Well, what we got going on in the country is a hell of a lot more important than the moral character of the guys leading it. If a guy sexually assaulted a woman, that, that's less important? Not that that's a kind of a iffy question. I don't think I want to answer that question. Uh, what what is really important is we got our government totally out of hand. We've got guys like me, OSHA, EPA, planning and zoning, building department are running us crazy. It's out of hand and Hillary will not change it. What we have now is an oligarchy in Washington with a bunch of little pe people in charge of the oligarchy. Every four years they go give away stuff to get elected again. And Bush, Clinton, Obama all belong to this little oligarchy. And Trump would break that up. But how, how is he going to get anything done if his, if his moral character is under such scrutiny? Uh, how are people going to work with him as if, he w if he were to be president when he's uh, suspected of sexual assault? Well, I can assure you that the guy that went from 900 million loss to success can cuss enough to straighten out Congress. Okay, I see he's got enough tough in him to lead. Do you think uh, the, the majority of Donald Trump's supporters uh, care about these comments? And, uh, and I, think, I think we all care about them. I, I care about them. I think it's unfortunate. It's something he shouldn't have said, but it's something that happened 10 years ago. It's something that, pardon the French, but a jackass put out the public. I've said numerous things in my life that shouldn't be public, and so I'm, I can live with that. Cool. Thank you, sir.